Welcome back to Hannity and Combs. I'm Sean Hannity. Alcohol abuse, alcoholism, is it a result of a weakness character flaw? As we continue our discussion, I want to bring up, I love baseball. Hope you're a baseball fan. Even though you slant to the left with my good friend Alan here, as we're talking about during the break, he created this huge controversy, as you recalled, when he said, I get sick and tired of hearing people describe this as a sickness, talking about Daryl Strawberry, his drug use. It's not a sickness. It's a weakness. It's not like leukemia. It's not like cancer. How can anybody be dumb enough or weak enough to take drugs. It's something I cannot understand. I got to admit, I was one of those Americans that created a firestorm that applauded Tommy Lasorda for saying what he said. Well, let me put a slightly different slant on that. I'm actually a psychologist and I deal therapeutically mm -hmm. with people who have alcohol problems. What I ask them is, what's really important in your life to you? What means the most to you? And then I say, how is drinking affecting that? Now, this is a funny kind of a way to treat a disease. You know, when somebody has pneumonia, you don't go in and say, gee, is it important for you to stay alive? Is it important for you to get penicillin? Alcoholism, like any other kind of behavioral excess, relies on people making up their mind and committing themselves to move in a certain you know, direction. You know the example I like to use? You know, for example, there's a, a whole series of decisions that a crack addict makes. He f buys the pipe, manufactures a pipe, he gets the crack from the drug dealer, pays him the money, puts the crack in the pipe, lights the crack, inhales the smoke. Well, let's talk Every about alcohol.